Yo, what up guys? It's Chris. We back. Today, I'm going to be giving you guys a little story time about my first time going to a gay bar. So technically, it wasn't my first time, but it also kind of was. So this was yesterday. I was with my friend, Eli, and we were hungry. So we're like, let's go get food. We just went to a random gay bar that I live kind of close to. It was literally on a Tuesday at 4 p.m. So before we go in, I turn to him in the car and I go... I guarantee there's gonna be like no one else here, maybe like two or three people, and they're probably gonna be a lot older than us. I mean, it was kind of obvious, but anyways, we walked in and there's no one else there except two older guys. Am I psychic? I don't know. But anyways, so we go in and didn't even know what drink I wanted to order because I don't really know what my drink of choice is yet because I just turned 21 and I don't really, haven't really drank that much. So don't really know what my drink of choice is. And I'm debating, the bartender was like, what do you want to drink? I'm like, I don't know. I, I forget what I ended up even getting, but it was good. One of the other older guys who was there recommended it. We started talking to them a little. And let me just tell you, I was slightly nervous going in there because, I mean, I don't know, you, you could find some creepy guys at a gay bar or something. These older guys were super nice. Hey, I'm just gonna say it. And let me just explain what happened. So we were just chilling at the bar with them talking and Eli's like my age. He also doesn't really drink a lot either, but he has gone out before. So anyways, we're all chilling at the bar. One of the guys there just is being super nice telling us he didn't really know our situation. So he was like, if you guys ever need resources or anything, like he didn't know if we were out. He was just, well, to our families and stuff. He was just like really nice, like making us feel really comfortable and not being creepy at all. You know, you love to see it. Um, I didn't really know what to expect. He did warn us that we got there right after a creepy guy just left. So kind of good timing on our part and was tr he just kept giving us advice pretty much and telling us that he didn't want us to repeat the same mistakes that he made in his life such as falling for a guy too quickly uh mostly that yeah and i mean he has a point because when you're younger i feel like that is actually something that can happen to you pretty easily you just especially if maybe your family doesn't accept you so then you go out looking for love and you just want someone to love you so you think you fall in love with them super quick get your heart broken you know stuff like that so he was just trying to give us advice on that and it was really nice you know I talked with the other guy a little bit and these guys were like 50 plus one of them was 50 one of them was I don't know 60 <laughs> but yeah they were nice and then talked about pride a little because it's pride month happy pride month oh by the way guys my music video is definitely coming out this month I just want to throw that in there just so you guys know and you can look forward to it probably like with either next week or the week after anyways yeah we just talked he he gave us his number <laughs> And he was like, I'm not trying to pick you up, but if you ever need any resources or someone to talk to or anything, here's my email, here's my number. I didn't think he was trying to pick me up either. So, you know, I added him as a contact. If I ever want to try and get some connections, he was in a choir too, you know, he's in my contacts if I ever want to. If I ever see him again, you already know, I'm going to go say what's up to him because also he already had a boyfriend. Yeah, and then the chair on top of everything so it was our first time there we were talking with him and everything and then we're about to leave because they didn't have food there because um, usually they have food but they didn't so we were gonna go to a different bar to go get food because I was starving and we're like can we get the tab please and the bartender is like it's taken care of he really paid for our drinks he really even paid for our drinks gave us advice was looking out for us was being really nice it's almost too much. I mean, I don't know. That was my first gay bar experience. I think, honestly, I'm gonna go back there because, I mean, I went on a Tuesday at 4 p.m., so no one was there, but I think I'm gonna go back on either Friday or on the weekend, possibly with Calvin, 
for another video. I don't know if I can really vlog in there because I don't know if I want them to find out about my YouTube channel and social media, but if they do, I mean, they do. They wouldn't really know just if I was vlogging. I mean, I could just take a few short videos and then do a story time with Calvin afterwards in the car, which I might actually do because I've been trying to make a video with Calvin, but our plans keep falling through because you know, various reasons, but yeah. So that was my first gay bar experience. Honestly, 10 out of 10. I think that's everything I wanted to say. You guys already know, Stan Chris, stay woke, peace.